सो हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू द चैनल वॉट द फ्यूचर आई एम योर होस्ट योर दोस्त एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली योर मेंटर आकाश दे इन दिस चैनल यू ओनली टॉक अबाउट केमिस्ट्री सी इन ऑल ऑफ द चैनल वे फाउंड इन यूट्यूब all of them are talking about a particular course but chemistry is such not about for a particular course right it is beyond that we think we see many things we see many topics related to chemistry which are fixed for the the particular course but it is not like that right chemistry in this chemistry world we find many things beyond the topics which are not get studied well in this channel we only focus the all the topics related to chemistry which are important for the study needs for the application of all of the questions so it is the first introduction class so welcome to the channel what the future welcome to the chemical world and in this channel the first thing i'm going to do is just give you the basic information of chemistry or the basic information of the traits that how we are going to deal with every subject and every topics of chemistry regarding the application of our question based and also the module of our syllabus so let's start with the first things we all need to know that what is chemistry let's start the start let's start our lecture welcome to the first class to the first introduction class of our channel let's start chemistry i'm going to write it all caps okay केमिस ट्री सो वट इज केमिस्ट्री द फर्स्ट सी एच ई एम इज कम्स फ्रॉम अ ग्रीक वर्ड इट इज कम फ्रॉम वन सेकेंड या ग्रीक वर्ड let me okay this comes from a greek word which means chemos it's come from a greek word from chemos what's the meaning of the word chemos it's mean in the structure you all know what is in the structure is right or we better know what is infrastructure is infrastructure is the most important thing in the world even we see many buildings are there in our earth so all the infrastructure are well built to build the strong base because if the infrastructure is not get strong enough then it really get fall down easily so we really don't need or we don't want a bad infrastructure right so it is most importantly what is inside what is chemos means it is basically means that we are going to deal with the intermolecular structure that is the word chemistry is comes from right so what we are going to study in this first let's focus that we are first going to study the main or the main portion of chemistry that is stereochemistry what is stereochemistry a stereochemistry is deals is a branch of science or of chemistry which deals with the structure and the properties of a molecule we all need to know every structure of every organic inorganic molecule right because without structure we can't even know that how a molecule look like or how its properties is so it is very important to know what is stereochemistry the first thing we are going to study is what is stereochemistry what is the definition of stereochemistry how can we differentiate the word stereochemistry and much more things okay so i'm just leaving this course and going to my the word documents to get a better version to what we are going to study it from the part stereochemistry okay let's go we are going to study the organic chemistry part 
where first we all in this semester we only study the organic part and the physical chemistry portion in the next semester we are going to study organic chemistry part and the inorganic portion so but for this semester only we are going to deal with the organic chemistry and the physical chemistry the first i am going to tell you the basic things we are going to study in the organic chemistry how do we study what are the basic rule we need to know that how to study it for get a better result to get a better concept in organic chemistry and also in physical chemistry okay so first thing what we are going to do we are going to see that's what's there in the stereochemistry portion so let's see so in a stereochemistry in this portion what we are getting we are getting we are getting the stereochemistry one and there bonding geometries of carbon compounds and representation of molecules so we all know what is a bonding right we all know what are bonds we are mainly focusing on the carbon compound because it is an organic part and what do you mean by organic let's see what do you mean by organic it's the most important thing that's what student must know that what is organic chemistry so what is organic chemistry Let's see what is organic chemistry. So, in this world, there in the periodic table we see that there are one, one, eight elements are there, right? There are one, one, eight elements are there. Even we don't, even we know that there are beyond one, one, eight elements are already found in the chemistry. We know greater than one one eight elements are there in the chemical world or in the physical world so what are we doing with only one one eight because we only get a structure or a classification to get a tabular form of this one one eight elements which is known as periodic table right we are getting the periodic table only for one one eight elements because we can get studied the only the one one eight elements in a tabular and a proper characteristic forms right we can't even study more than that or or can't even study less than that so it's a proper definition so the need for 118 elements are there in the chemistry which are we are mainly going to study even we don't even we know that there are more than that let's rest of that we are going to focus on the organic chemistry so what is organic chemistry when we are deal with carbon only when we are dealing with carbon only because the carbon is such a compound or such an atom or such an element whatever I called it which mainly found in the organic world what is organic world means which are coming directly from the nature right organic is such thing which are getting from the nature directly right so which are directly getting from the nature is that it's carbon and that's the thing we are getting a separate branch of chemistry which is known as organic chemistry right so in organic chemistry uh, wait a second yeah so in organic chemistry what we are going to do we are study study what we study the carbon we need to know its allotropes what is allotropes right it's basically a question may arrive see carbon is something which are can form a dimer a compound a molecule and a different things so we mainly found carbon in diamond graphite and many other things but things is diamond is made for what made by what things carbon graphite is made by which things carbon they are the things which are made of carbon carbon but they are been in different shape and in different structures like carbon in diamond is tetravalent means it have four bond 
and while in graphite itself trivalent meaning it has three bond only and that's the main reason that in diamond is not a good electricity conductor while graphite is a good electricity conductor right because we know suppose it is a carbon it have four bond now it's become tetravalent none of the electron are getting loose so it there is no electron are present free electron are present which can conduct electricity right and that is the structure of diamond but in graphite we see it is trivalent meaning it have one electron left in it and this one electrons is mainly used to conduct conduct electricity that we are know right clear okay next things that's we are going to deal with in the organic chemistry right so what are we are going to do we get study the carbon we're going to study the allotropes we are going to study its bonding already been teaching staged by you already been taught by you that's what is bonding state trivalent trivalent even we see monovalent divalent you all see in the rest of the class next we get bond angle right we will see it's most importantly it's hybridization it's s and p character and many more so this is organic chemistry these are going to be mainly focus we mainly thought and we are mainly going to know okay so this is the basic and what can i say the basic bonding geometries of a carbon compound and what is a carbon compound is carbon compound is basically an organic compound right so organic compounds we are getting to know that there are many sorry in the organic compound we are getting mainly know that there are many reactions mechanism and preparation are follows and what type of preparation reactions mechanism are going to follow we are going to deal with it and we are going to study this clear okay next is rep representation of molecules we are already know what is representation that what is its bond angle what is its hybridization and many things the tetrahedral nature we know that if carbon is mainly have four bond so that's the reason it have tetrahedral in nature why carbon have only four bonds we already know in the atomic structure that carbons is basically have four valency in its excited state and two valency in its ground state configuration right so next we are going to deal the concept of asymmetry fischer projection sohos position newman projection newman projection sohos position is basically they represent a molecule in a cyclic or in a straight line or in a interjection form is what we are going to deal with and their inter translation is meaning transform the molecules or the structures from fissure to sohos to flying wheels and vice versa that's the thing clear next we are going to deal the concept of chirality what is chirality meaning the chirality meaning is that if see let's see what is mean by chirality let's have a few it's a carbon right it's have we already know it's a four bond i'm going to write the bond in the 90 degree order so it's going to be difficult suppose there's a group or there's an atom a there's a b there's a d and suppose there is an atom or a group e so see carbon is our main compound or the main atom we're going to looking for it have it have a comp or a group or atom a in its one bond b its one bond 
D is another bond and E is another bond. So A, B, C, D. All are unique, different. They are not alike. Alike means they are not same. See, A is something different and B is something different. A is, A is not equals to B, right? That's what we are know in the grammatical order or in the English language. That A is not equals to B. A is something different language and B is something different alphabets. It's what you call it better. This it is all distinct alphabets are there. But see, A have unique property, B has unique property, D have unique property, and E also have unique property. They all are different and they all doesn't match with each other. If it's gone and they all are univalent. Univalent means they only have one bond. They are going to bond with each other only one. Right? So if there is a conformation or if there is a structure like this, then our carbon atom is get optically active. The right? optically active. Okay. Now some of you must have a question that what is optically active. Let's see what do you mean by optically active. Op active suppose there is a compound or a group I am taking this carboxylic acid right now there's only one group I'm taking now they are in this bond I have written C clear now, in each another bond, I have write, written some other distinct group or atom. Suppose I have written F, fluorine, right? So, what do we first know? Need to know that carboxylic acid is something another group. Fluorine is something another group. They are not alike or they are not represent a same molecular structure, same molecular habits or a look like structure representation right it is something different carboxylic group is something different fluorine group is something different we all know and we are better to know next in so one two means two bonds are still left let's go in another bond i have written bromide right so only one bond left in, in another bond i have written something called O H so now the same as the structure it gets star in it why star it represent that it is unique it represent that it is unique so let's start it because it have four different unique group which are not same like each other or represent the same molecular habit with each other so it gets different and this carbon is now become chiral and if it's get chiral now we can say it is optically active and the first question is what is optically active if suppose this is a carbon is the main thing we have talking about this is the carbon right so if we placed the molecule in a mirror Right? It is a mirror. What does it now look like? This is H. It is H. This is O. It will be O. This is C. This will be C. This is double bone O. It will be double bone O. Now, there is a carbon. It should be BF, it should be BR, and next, most importantly, it should be O, but H, H should be in the right hand side. In, in this portion, H is left hand side, but in this figure, OH means H should be in the right hand side, right? So, 
now you also can say it's also this star because it's also chiral this carbon is also chiral but right so what's the difference between the true structure if we see this if we see that's what's the difference between the two structure both are same alike right but uh, but the main thing is the carboxylic group is here the right hand side while in this picture the carboxylic group is in the left hand side so what we can say that is it's a right hand side right is becoming left while sorry uh, here's PR in the left hand side while this is PR in the right hand side so again we can say that left implies or becoming right so this is things we are called uh, optically active meaning what's the meaning of this thing the main meaning of this thing that the compound is getting rotated the, if a compound get rotated by its chirality order then we can say that the compound is basically a optically active compound and how can we get the optically active result to be proved it's by the polarimeter experiment we will going to deal with what is polarimeter experiment, what is specific rotation, what is muta rotation. We are going to discuss all of these terms in the next few videos. So please keep continuous your lecture. So it's going to go for your need, not my own. Because it's going to help you most. Clear? So that's what we are going to discuss. What is optically active things? What is the main things we are going to do with optically active by dividing optically active that it is only depend on the chiral center no it is beyond chiral centers we are going to deal with every many molecules that how can we get uh, optically active molecules there are many different terms are going to announce and being to launched that what is the things which are depend for a molecule to get optically active what are the things which are basically retarded the molecules to not becoming an optically active molecules all of things are going to discuss in a few days so the next thing we are going to see is all the symmetric elements point elements symmetric elements we are going to the ill suppose can say here suppose we have a compound called methane you all know what's the structure of methane is c H H H H right it's methane right so can we divide methane yes we can divide methane so let's see how can we divide methane we have taken a ruler let's see how can we divide we have taken a ruler and by this see we are going to divide the methane Suppose we have taken this color, sorry, thus we divide the methane, yes it's divide the methane, why? Because if have equal number of H, half H in the upper side, half H in the lower side, half C in the upper side, half C in the lower side, half H in the upper side, half H in the lower side, and we have a whole age in the upper side and the whole age in the lower side means this is symmetrical and thus we can divide methane right so thus we can also divide the methane in many categories such like if we just place in in the vertical column what we will see that's it now if we divide the methane what we will see is in the vertical side right can we divide it in diagonal order yes we can divide it all in diagonal order also by how just look at this place it in the 45 degree angle and we can easily divide it right see 
we divide it and thus you can all say that there are many elements which are symmetrical which are, can be divided into two or more equal halves and thus they are not optically active right because we are not getting a perfect rotation or getting information that the molecules is already been rotated or not because they are symmetrical so if they are rotated we can't visualize that the things is being rotated yes or not and if we are not getting any information that the molecules is getting inf rotated or not we are not termed it as optically active elements the main thing the main visualization or the main thing the main person is us until we are getting a confirmation that the molecules is being rotated yes or not we are not allowed the molecules to get its uh, optical active marked or identification clear that's what i'm talking about so we are going to deal with many such things relative absolute confirmation right dl rs we all know that what is meso now we are going to deal with what is erythro trio isomer what is sin anti nomenclature it's a new things for all of you we are going to deal with ez rs for aldoxime light cn is aldoxime group as a group for nn we are all going to deal with it and in the optical activity we are going to check the optical rotation the specific rotation the mute rotation the molar rotation of the racemic compound what is racemic compound the something racemic compound is a plus or a equal amount of enantiomeric constituent groups when are present in a mixture this is known as a racemic compound or a racemic mixture or a racemization we are going to deal with what is enantiomer what is diastereomers all our things are going to deal with to anionic radical uh, invertomism is a main, as main important thing in the last of our syllabus and thus, thus what we are going to deal with is this thing is all the chemistry portion the stereochemistry portion we are all going to study it very well clear hope you find attractive this class if you find attractive please like share subscribe and the next lecture we are going to deal what is general treatment of reaction mechanism and in the last lecture of the introduction class for the organic compound we are going to deal with what is the basic organic concept the basic properties of organic concept what is physical property what is balance properties all the introduction class it's mainly so the main class is mainly start from the first of may from the first week of may and by this the end of this month we are going to all deal with the organic portion and the physical portion introduction class of kinetic theory of gas the maxwell boltzmann distribution law chemical thermodynamics the most importantly for the thesis of many chemical ideas and the last of our physical chemistry properties is the chemical kinetics which is very important for the yield of any following mechanism any following reaction so this is going to all we need to study all we need to go for the as far as i say that's that in the for the month of april we are going to deal with only the introduction class that's what's the things we are going to study what's the basic of these things how we are going to study and that's it hope you get all my ideas of hope you get enough idea that how to study the chemistry and how main things or many topics we are going to discuss in this in this lectures or in this journey so hope you like us like our video be a revolution to our channel and be a member of your channel by watching this video regularly share with your friends that many students get join in our channel like share subscribe and please be a member and please be a disciplined student to be to be a great future of your lives thank you so much and for the end of this video i wish that you like this video and if you like this introduction class my name is akash day your host your dost and most importantly your mentor wishing you a very good morning good afternoon good night whenever you are watching this video bye